let's talk about robotics internships in india hey everyone my name is kajal and welcome to my channel for today's video i'm interviewing rukvid a robotics engineer at wave sense which also goes by gpr now in this interview we talk about how he was inspired to pursue robotics how he ended up deciding his engineering major and his experience of doing a robotics internship at baba atomic center i'll include all of the timings here and in the description below so without further ado let's get into it let's start with an introduction can you tell us a little bit about you i'm rugvaid hattekar i would like to say myself as a robotics roboticist but i'm a enthusiast i'm a robot enthusiast i have a degree i have a masters in robotics for most of my professional career the only uh, thing i was very enthusiastic and interested in was robotics so i have been doing that let's say 6 years now i've been into robotics i pursued my career looking as being a roboticist all the time but still still learning still learning <laughs> new things and i so currently i work as a localization and mapping engineer at a company called gpr which was a uh, wave sense before i'm working there as as a, as a part of algorithm algorithm team and most of my work strongly relates with what i have done in robotics and the experience that i got from my undergrad and masters in in robotics happy happy to be here uh, happy to be talking with uh, kajal yeah happy to have you here as well and thank you so much for your time and i would say you've definitely gone from enthusiastic to a roboticist and we are very interested in knowing your journey so i remember from our previous conversation you told me a story about how you went to your sister's engineering college and it kind of inspired you can you tell the story for our viewers yes uh, for sure that's that's a, that's a good question for me i was i was in uh, let's start with when i was preparing for my je so it's a exam in uh, india which has uh, so which you take to get into an engineering career so i was preparing for that exam i was learning all the mechanics i was learning electricity and all the physics back then and then my my sister she was doing her engineering in one of the colleges near my near my house uh, they had a festival called tech fest in their college which is supposed to be a technical event where a lot of engineers come together showcase their projects and you know talk about this projects and they try to inspire the crowd non engineering crowd as well as the engineering crowd who, who is there i was part of that that fest i went there and then there was this event going on which had like all the robots which was around 120 lbs and those robots were fighting each other it's like a robo war competition all the teams nice. like there were two teams you know they had their uh, remote controls in hand the whole whole arena was covered with you know glass and all, all the plastic basically and they were fighting and one robot was so strong that it was just throwing the other robots or the other robots <laughs> were flying when they were going uh, near that oh, robot nice. so I, was, i was i was so intrigued at that point i was like how are these guys doing this now how how is the engineering working here what because i was studying mechanics back then i was start, i started thinking what kind of you know mechanism is being used what's the how do they do the velocity how do they you know how does the electricity works here and all these things that got me really uh, interested in in robotics i stayed there for the whole event and I, i talked with the engineers there who were working as a robotics team so i came after that i came home i you know did my research looked at the robotics field what is what is it like no uh, to have a career in robotics and back then in india there was there was not a ma- not many colleges who offered robotics as a, as a degree and in undergrad so i had to choose between either going a mechanical path or a computer science path and then pursuing robotics but when i talked with those students who were you know part of this big team they were coming up from a mechanical department that gave me an idea that mostly i think mechanical engineers are working in robotics let me do this career let me pursue mechanical engineering and then i'll try to be a roboticist that's how i got into mechanical engineering but throughout my mechanical engineering the major projects the only part i remember very well is working <laughs> with robots all i was obsessed with robots i was i found a team and then uh in my college we were working for robots they trained me on you know this processes how to manufacture the robot how to design that design it and then we entered the robo wars competition ourselves so it was nice. it was a journey started that with, sounds really you know, fun 
and as you rightly pointed uh, back then and i think even right now there aren't a lot of universities offering bachelors in robotics so you kind of have to choose i think there are more options now in terms of mechatronics as an option but you still have to kind of choose between these and make a decision yeah yeah that is so true and robotics in itself is basically an interdisciplinary field so you have to have a knowledge from mechanical electronics and then computer science having a degree combined together would be a uh, very beneficial but even the mechanical or engineering itself if you are if you are interested in you can explore most of most of this yeah and i think that's a great advice that you're giving out as well that if you're someone who's interested in robotics and want to kind of know more definitely go to these tech fests i think they're also open to most you know people who are in school just so you can explore and figure out what you'd like to do next that is that is so true so let me also now ask you about an internship that you did with baba atomic center during your undergrad can you tell us about the experience yes i was actually very fortunate to work with baba atomic research center which is in which is in navi mumbai so this is a research organization which does different types of research they come up with research projects they pay, they publish paper and they give opportunities to students across the country to be a part of their research when i was working with bhava atomic research center i was working there as a as a final year student uh, i was doing my major project with with bhava atomic research center and uh, so i used to go there once a week uh, i was working with the department called uh, department of robot handling and uh, robotics this drhr Uh, has all the robotics that are required for the nuclear power plant that they have in mumbai as well as the other medical robotics operations or robotics projects that they are doing so i was a part of a big project which was going on for a couple of years and i was a, as a part of a smaller team which was working on uh, robotics manipulators most of the experiences i had before going to bhava atomic research center was into mobile robotics or remote controlled robot they were like around 120 lb robot but they were mobile robots so there i got a chance to actually methodic methodically see how does a project or robotics project comes into picture what type of teams are there or what type of work is being done uh, individually initially i was asked to study some control algorithm and manipulator planning algorithms so that i got a chance to do uh, coding about those algorithm and implementation of those algorithms in one of the manipulators that gave me an idea in coding and how extensive it can be uh, when we are implementing that on the, on the on the real real devices so that was that was a really good uh, project i had which gave me a real world experience for me and it turned out uh, that project helped me quite a bit in my masters as well as when i was finding a job because that experience counted a, a, a bit yeah it totally would you mentioned that you went once a week so it was a year long project or a couple of months so it was basically two semesters project in my senior year i joined it in july and then i and i was done by april of the next next year and i know my audience would like to know this how did you go about finding this internship what was that process like Yes, that's a that's a really good and interesting question. I would like to answer. I was in my junior year, which is the third third year in India, and I was looking for companies who have robotics or who are working in robotics and who are looking for interns. So I started looking because I wanted a project which would give me a real world experience in robotics. So I started looking. I found out few companies. I re- I was cold emailing all the HRs. and you know their career pay uh, their career emails while doing my research i figured out one paper that came out from bhava atomic research center i, I didn't know that they had this uh, department of robot handling back then I read through the paper that sounded very interesting work on the manipulators that i that i was looking to do uh, and in at the end of the paper in the credits there was the email addresses of authors that i that i found out i spent some time because cold emailing was kind of new to me back then i i didn't know how to do it so i wanted to reach out to the authors I started looking how to cold email what to write in a cold email so i <laughs> put everything in one email from uh, which included how i got into this robotics and to what have i done till now i i wrote up all about that so now i realize this cold email are supposed to be like very short you know just to start the conversation but my cold email back then was two pages uh, <laughs> nice <laughs> and it included all the things but my mentor there was very sweet and he was really intrigued by what i have written and the very next day in the morning 
he uh, actually called me uh, yes. and said uh, hey i really liked your email uh, so there were few documentation that had to be done and he wanted to un- uh, understand more about few projects that i have that i did so i we talked about that and then uh, he helped me get into power atomic research center and then mentored me there so it was it was very fun fun process that i went through i love the approach and it's so interesting that you know you went through the entire research paper and like in a very creative way found their information so that you can reach out to them and yeah generally cold emailing is just a couple of sentences but it doesn't necessarily have to be that this is definitely for the audience when you're writing that cold email and as he did when you're giving that description of what got you interested and why you want to work with them there's an even higher chance of them responding instead of you just saying hey do you have an internship <laughs> true 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 that that helps if you give your background a little bit and show why you are interested in this thing people people do usually usually respond yeah that's so very true any advice that you would give to people who are looking for internships in india when it comes to robotics yes my first advice is please don't hesitate to cold email figure out your interest figure out the type of work they are doing but make sure that you are actually researching about their work you are knowing what they are doing and is it really aligns with your interest make sure that that process is done and then once that is done you can actually cold email them asking about some help in these things and usually people will respond either they will uh, you know help you get to that project or they'll suggest something that would be really helpful in that context yeah uh thank you for that i do have some questions from the audience that i'd like to ask you sure there was this one question which said that they did a few projects in mathematical modeling and simulation and they're not directly related to robotics okay. how would one factor this while cold emailing professor for research internship thesis or even to write an sop i think you touched upon it a little bit but if you could expand that would be great as the person is mentioning about mathematical modeling and simulations in robotics that is a really important field because most of the times there will be mathematical equations that that go in, uh, into the implementation of this robotics algorithms and posing a problem as a mathematical problem and then coming out with a solution is really an important step uh, and for simulations simulation is the first part in robotics before going to the hardware that you will do so even if it they are not directly uh, related to robotics i would what i would do is explain uh, the scope of the project and what the work was uh, and mention that in the cold email because most of the robotics problem has this simulation aspect and mathematical aspect uh, mathematical modeling aspect in it please put it in a way where uh, you can relate it to any of the robotics problem or just explain your work and how uh, mathematical modeling and simulation came came into picture and what was the thinking behind doing all these things would definitely help yeah that's great advice and as you rightly pointed out it's also about the fact that you're showcasing that you have the skills to work with math and build all these simulations and models as needed and you can apply the skill to another field which is robotics right. yes so most of the most of the problems in uh, this robotics algorithm i i think they are initially were mathematical problems and people didn't know how to uh, if we have equation in mathematics then we can easily put it into into the code and then have that implementation ready in a code wise but to code something you need the mathematical understanding or mathematical equations that you actually supposed to code so coming up with this mathematical equations is really important in an algorithms world that is really an added benefit that you have so don't worry about the robotics aspect of it but please try to mention about you know how this mathematical modeling or what was the background thinking behind the mathematical modeling that you did and the simulation part yeah well thank you so much for that answer and i'm sure it will help this person 